Okay, um, today we're going to be tying a Frenchie fly. <clears throat> I'm going to tie it on a size 16 fire hole 1x heavy jig competition hook. I'm going to use a 332nd tungsten slotted bead. I'm going to make sure that bead's positioned in there right. Alright, uh, we're going to use 0 0.15 lead wire, small gold ultra wire, this is pheasant tail, pretty much any color will work, I like dark, darker colors, this is uh, <coughs> Coke de Leon, Bard, this is uh, Bard Speckled, um, and fluorescent pink UT7. UTC 70 denier thread. Okay, so you're going to start the lead right behind the eye. If I can get my thread out or my lead. Okay. We're going to start it right behind the eye and wrap, or right behind the, right in front of the hook point, and wrap forward to about the eye. You want to start it right there so that you get a you get a good taper when you when you start wrapping that pheasant tail body up. So we're going to start a thread right behind that lead, <clears throat> pushing it up into the eye. And wrap back. You don't want to build up too much bulk in the back of this fly or else you won't get that nice taper. <coughs> Snip your thread off. First we're going to tie in our tailing material which is the Coke de Leon. We're going to take out about 10 or so fibers, measure them to be a little bit shorter than a hook shank in length. Right about there. Tie that in. And wrap it back. Be sure not to wrap down the bend of this hook. You don't want it. You don't want it curved down. Okay, wrap that up. Snip this as close as you can, but right behind the lead. You don't want this. You don't want to have to wrap this up over the lead. Just like that. Okay. Now we're going to take a piece of that gold small ultra wire. You can use other wire if you want. I just like this gold ultra wire. We're going to tie it in. I don't want it going over the lead either, because we got still got to tie the pheasant tail in. We're gonna wrap that back, and I'm just gonna stop it just not even a measurable amount before the where we wrap the tail in, where we tie that. <clears throat> now we're gonna take our pheasant tail. We're gonna take some fibers, about four or five fibers, and lift them straight up 90 degrees from the fiber. We're going to snip about four or five off, depending on the size of your fly. This is a 16. Okay. And we're going to take them and tie them in just by the tips. Wrap that back. Nice and tight wraps here. Okay, lift those butt ends up, snip them off. I'm going to bring our thread forward. When we get to the lead, we don't want it to go down in the lead. So we're going to take our thread and wrap it at an angle like that so it doesn't cut in. And we're going to go back, just kind of secure that lead right behind the eye. I'm going to take our pheasant tail, we're going to lightly wrap it towards us. And remember what way you wrap it because you're going to want to wrap that wire the opposite way. Sometimes that pheasant tail will fall off the back here, so I like to take my finger and hold it down and go over. Just get nice tight wraps in there. And you're going to want to do this all the way up to where your thread is. Okay, now we're going to tie this off right behind the eye. Go. 
and snip them as close as you can. A couple more wraps. Now we're going to take our wire and we're going to wrap it um, the opposite way. Sometimes those little fibers will shoot up like that. You can just snip them out because for the most part they'll stay intact. I'm going to wrap this over away from you. Nice even wraps all the way up the body. Of the fly. See that holds down that piece of pheasant tail that came up? That's not going anywhere. And we're going to wrap this wire off. Tie this wire off. Right behind the eye. Helicopter that wire. Okay, now we're going to take our sow scud dubbing. I like sow scud dubbing just because I think it dubs easier than an ice dub. But you can use either one. Just a small pinch. Take it and just dub a noodle onto your tying thread. Make sure to leave a little bit of room right behind the eye for your hot spot. Or your uh, pink thread collar. Okay, we're going to wrap that. Then we're going to start making wraps behind the eye to build up a little collar. Now we're going to take our whip finish. <clears throat> put a couple whips in there to finish building up that thread collar. And that is uh, Frenchie. Thanks for watching.